EES, which is pronounced ease, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. In the last video we talked about lookup tables and ease. In this video we're going to talk about one way that you can work with data in lookup tables, which is uh, related to entering equations in the Alter Values dialog. In this way you can use any of the equations that you could program directly in the equations window uh, in the lookup table in order to manipulate the data in much the same way that you might do in a spreadsheet. So let's create a new lookup table that includes uh, measured temperature and pressure of air and uh, suppose I want to compute the density of the air at each of these temperatures and pressures using the ideal gas law. Uh, there's a number of different ways to do this but the most direct way is to just add another column to the table and then we'll add an appropriate column name, density, and unit, kilogram per meter cubed. And then we'll select enter equations in the alter values dialog. And the equation that I enter in this box now uh, can refer to uh, entries in the other rows and columns of the table. It can also refer to values or variables in the ease workspace. And it can call any of the functions that are otherwise available in ease. So here I want to enter the ideal gas law, which is uh, right here, density equals pressure divided by the product of the ideal gas constant R and the absolute temperature. So I'm going to need the ideal gas constant, so let's enter the ideal gas constant uh, for air R equals 287.1 in the equations window. And now we'll go to the table, uh, we'll enter the ideal gas law into this equations box. So in order to do this, I'm going to have to uh, refer to the pressures and temperatures that are in other columns. And you can do that in the equations box with the indicator shown here, hashtag x. So hashtag x is going to refer to the values uh, in the same row, but in column x, where x is an integer. So hashtag 1, in this case, will refer to um, the values in column 1, and hashtag 2 in column 2. So going back to ease now, um, the uh, numerator of my ideal gas log is pressure, so I'll use hashtag 2 here to refer to the value of the pressure that's in column 2. Then I'm going to have to divide that by uh, the ideal gas constant, which is the variable R, which is available to me in this equations box, even though I have entered it in the equations window. And then I need the absolute temperature. So in column 1, I can get the temperature in degrees Celsius. I need to convert that to uh, temperature in Kelvin, and I can uh, use the convert temp function in ease right here in this equations box to, to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. So right, convert temp, I want to go from Celsius to Kelvin, and then hashtag 1 refers to the value of the temperature that I can find in column 1. And if I hit solve, then uh, I'll get all the densities here. So in some cases, uh, I might want to refer to a particular row in a column that's not the same as the row that's being updated in the lookup table. So this capability is available by including the row number in brackets. So for example, so here I'm going to um, set this equation up such that all the values in row 4 are going to be set to um, the value in row 3 of column 2. So hashtag 2 for the column and 3 for the row. And you can see that's what happened here. Finally, it's sometimes necessary to refer to a row that is a fixed number of rows above or below the current row. So you can do this with the indicator hashtag R. So hashtag R refers to the current row, and it can be used as a subscript. Uh, but if I wanted to refer to uh, the row before the current row, I would just put in hashtag R minus 1. So if I go into this column and enter hashtag 2, hashtag R, that's going to be exactly the same as entering hashtag 2. Right? It's just going to go to row. Uh, uh, to column 2 and get um, whatever uh, value is in the current row. Uh, but if I put in here um, hashtag 2 and then hashtag r minus 1, now what it's going to do is go to column 2 and then go to the current row minus 1. So it'll go to the previous row. The professional version of ease provides the option to automatically update the values in a column that have been set with an equation. So if I check the automatic update here, um, what's going to happen then is the values assigned with an equation uh, will be updated whenever the values that the equation depends upon are changed. So for example here, 
if I select automatic update for density and then I change one of the measured temperatures in row 5 here you can see that the calculated density will change as well uh, because uh, it depends on that temperature. The values in a lookup table can be changed um, directly like I just did or they can also be changed uh, using the lookup command in an ease function or an ease macro or using the directive dollar copy to look up. So all these will be covered in subsequent tutorials, but each of these are going to cause some values in a lookup table to change, and those, if you've selected the auto update, would cause the rest of the calculations to change. So this is one of a series of tutorials meant to describe the operation of the eSoftware. software. If you want to get more information about eSe, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to the website fchart.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FCHART website.